Off the top at six, a disturbing case of animal cruelty in a Pembroke Pines neighborhood. Two dogs shot and one of them does not survive. The golden retrievers were in a backyard and they were targeted. Now police want to know if a man caught on camera is their suspect. CBS 4's Kerry Codd spoke to the dog's owner. He's live right now with the story for us. Kerry. Yeah, Elliot, I'm on the patio where those dogs were shot. In fact, over my left shoulder here, you can see the glass doors the dogs were lying in front of when those BB shots rang out earlier this month. And tonight, the dog's owner is desperate to find the person who did this. I miss my dog and, um, you know, and uh, that I want justice for her. That's Charles Mione talking about Maddie, his beloved 10 year old golden retriever. Mione's surveillance cameras rolled Sunday evening, December 3rd, the night someone used a BB gun to shoot and kill Maddie and wound seven year old Max. The dogs were lying at the base of the glass door on the upper left section of your screen. At some point, the dogs looked up, possibly hearing a sound. Mione says Max got shot first. Then, after Maddie checked on Max, who was hiding behind an ATV, Maddie too was shot. She then walked to the side of the home to die. Mione found her when he returned home a short time later. Oh, I went around the side of the house, and there she was laying in a pool of blood. Mione says he misses Maddie every day, and so do his kids. My kids have taken it very badly. Um, they were real close to the dogs. Police are focusing on this person captured on a neighbor's surveillance camera walking away from the area a couple of hours later. He was possibly carrying a rifle, police say. Investigators believe he might be connected to the shooting. It shows the person turning around, looking back towards where the officers were, and upon seeing them, uh, they proceed to run away. We saw Max peeking out from the front window of the home Thursday. Mione said the steel BB is still inside him. He has a, uh, a BB fragment. Close to his aorta, the veterinarian uh, is concerned that it may sc scratch or scar or, or puncture his aorta. Mione says the animals have been targeted over the years, and he's heard complaints from a particular neighbor about his dogs barking, but he can't understand how this could happen. There's no telling what what things are going through people's minds. Um, you know what what agitates people. So if just the barking is an issue uh, there could have been easily just a knock on my front door would have would have sufficed i want to see justice for her uh, she was an innocent dog just uh, minding her own business dogs bark and i want to see justice for her now this is max right here just came outside while we were doing our live report now, the owner of uh, Max and Maddie tells me that when Maddie got to the hospital after she was shot and killed, the veterinarian found another BB inside her, showing that Maddie had been shot on a previous occasion. The owner didn't even know that. Now, the owner is also possibly pursuing a civil lawsuit in this case. And if you have any information that can help investigators solve this, contact Pembroke Pines Police or Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. Live in Pembroke Pines, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.